let's assume that there are a total of 112 candles on Harry, John, and Brenda's cakes this year. In addition to that, we'll assume that John has four times as many candles as Brenda does, and we'll say that Brenda has ten less candles than Harry. Okay, and the problem we're going to ask is how many candles do each one of them have separately? Now, I'm going to assign some variables to assist me here. We're going to let h equal the number of candles Harry has. Then we will let j and b be respectively the number of candles that John has and b the number of candles Brenda has. Okay, makes sense. We're assigning variables because we don't know what these numbers are at the beginning of the problem anyway. Okay, now we can take these and try to set up some sentences that are true. Now in orange, we know that there's a total of 112 candles. So how many does candles, or sorry, how many candles does Harry have? Well, Harry has H. How many does John have? John has J. How many does Brenda have? Brenda has B. So if we add all of these together, the total number of candles needs to be 112. Okay, second sentence. John has four times as many candles as Brenda does. So what is John's number of candles? Well, it is, because he has, four times as many as what Brenda has. So we're taking Brenda's, multiplying it by 4, and that becomes John's number of candles. Okay, finally, the purple. Brenda has 10 less candles than Harry. So how many does Brenda have? Well, Brenda has, her number of candles is equal to, 10 less than the number that Harry has. So that gives us three equations now that we can work with to try to solve for these three unknowns, H, J, and B. Now, because of experience here, I know that I'm going to want to try to write these in terms of the same variable. So I'm going to immediately go down to this bottom equation and add 10 to both sides. Because if you do this to the bottom equation, you can see that you get E plus 10 equals H. And that's going to be very convenient when we substitute into one of the top equations. In particular, we're going to substitute into the very top equation that says H plus J plus b equals 112. But what is h? Well, h is b plus 10. So I'm going to replace h with b plus 10. Plus j. What is j? Well, j equals 4b. So I'm going to replace j with 4b. Plus b. Well, b is b. And this is supposed to be equal to 112. Notice now that what we've done is we've taken the system of equations and then substituted these two pieces into the first equation, leaving us with only the letter b. So now we can perform typical algebra. b and 4b is 5b and there's another b, so we're getting a total of 6b plus that numerical 10 equals 112. Subtract 10 from both sides. 6b looks like it equals 106. Uh, sorry, 102, my error. Then divide both sides by 6. And when we divide by 6, it looks like b ends up equaling 17. So we know now that Brenda has 17 candles on her cake. How much does Harry have? Well, by substituting back into here, we see that Harry equals b, which is now 17, plus 10, in other words, Harry must have 27 candles. And finally, in order to figure out what John is, we could technically type or uh, replace this into any one of these equations, but I'll replace into this one right here to say that John must be equal to 4 times B, which we solved to be 17, and therefore John must have let's see, 34 times 2, 68. So the final answers are John, 68, Harry, 27, and Brenda, 17.